This is part of the outside, obviously the trailer, but this step ladder is absolutely phenomenal. And you got your C decks here. Um, we're pretty uh, picky about obviously no shoes on the boat. And so we went with the brown interior. We absolutely love this brown interior. It looks really cool with the blue. All right, so here's the inside. This is the WT2 DC, okay? So for you guys that aren't familiar with it, the DC, I believe, stands for the dual consoles. What the idea was they make a WT2. I don't even know if they still make it anymore, but it doesn't have the dual console, okay? So we have a bunch of extra features on this boat. We're going to go over those extra features and some of the basics and just kind of give you guys a rundown of what I think of the boat. All right, guys, so the biggest thing that everybody, everybody, everybody complains about is the upholstery. It does not hold up. I will tell you that firsthand, um, heyday. I think they should definitely step up their upholstery game and make their upholstery to where it just stands out longer. There's a warranty that comes with this and they would spend less time replacing these cushions if they would just do it right. So for instance, we don't let people stand on the boat a whole lot, but we have got a tear on the seam here on this corner. Uh, I don't know if it's because this cushion is so long, but we see a lot of people with um, issues with their upholstery there, okay? So you're gonna have this come along. Again, you're paying 45, 70,000 maybe for a boat. I know people say, man, for that amount of money, it shouldn't do that. Uh, it shouldn't do that. Other boats, people will say, well, my boat did the same thing. Again, we're not going in and out of what boat's better. I'm just saying the upholstery for this boat is not up to a high standard of a $100,000 boat, okay? There, um, several people too, when they bought their boat inside here, just gonna open it up for you. They just skipped a step. Like, I don't know why they didn't grind off this little piece of metal here, because you can see how it's pointed and it's starting to try, it, it, if I use this a lot, it will put a hole in this armrest. So I'm gonna have to go in here and grind this off. This one's padded, still should not be pointed in my opinion. Okay, so there's that. All right, so my boat came, this is what kind of the standard boat, but the boat also has the option for what they call kickback lounges. So these are the jacuzzi tubs and they have a flat platform that goes across the top, which will make this entire thing a big uh, platform. All right, so those are absolutely useless. They came with my boat, they were a bonus feature, used them for the first time this weekend. They're absolutely useless because the way they open up and the way they install they don't sit flush with the deck completely and it's hard to get in there to then get to your other compartment so typically our compartment is underneath this jacuzzi seat right well since i have this compartment here and then i turn around and I put a, a flat thing on top of that i have to take the flat thing all the way off to get to this compartment now you guys are probably saying well when you put the top on this then becomes the compartment well then I, every time i put those on i have to reconfigure it so um the cushion doesn't fit correctly it doesn't sit flush with this it actually is higher than this so we just put it on there to give it a go um and i, I wasn't a fan of it so i kind of wish we didn't have that in there um these little things here sometimes they're annoying from people sitting in this seat so we'll stick with probably the jacuzzi seating moving forward all right so um that is one of our additional features um obviously the tower here this is the new 2021 tower um it has these side pulls, which is what everybody brags about. The problem is, is if you have a bimney top and this bimney top goes out, the rope will hit the bimney top. So it's not exactly the greatest feature ever, all right? Not a huge fan of the board racks, but hey, you know, again, the next step up is, you know, a couple $2,000 board racks. So it gets the job done. You see these on a lot of boats, so nothing special about those, right? Um, I know it sounds crazy. Boat came with a table. It's an additional feature as well. Not all of them come with a table. We haven't used it at all again. So the other piece that doesn't come with all boats standard um, from the upholstery area is there's a bow filler. So this whole area here will fill with a flat um, piece of cushion. And then there is a cushion back that slides down here and it sits here. All right. Now the problem with this is two things. One, if I need to get to my ski locker, I can only open it about that far. So I can't get any boards out or really anything out from the bottom. So one of the number one things that kind of doesn't make sense about the bow filler is that all right the second thing is they make it out of like almost like a cutting board and so when someone stands on that you'll see this thing flex a ton in order to put it in you got to lift both all three of these seats to get in okay so it's not very convenient um, again it was just an add-on and we took it because it, it wasn't costing us anything more or less okay so that was 
um, an added feature. Uh, different feature on ours is we have the M2s, Rockfords. These are not standard. Um, the Rockfords were way behind in our dealership. Was nice enough to order us the upgraded version. Definitely love these. If you wanted to do these, make sure that you read the instructions because there's a controller that changes these LED lights. So these match our blue inside. Um, you can have them preset or you can change them on your phone. We went for the upgraded wireless. I can change it to be a Bluetooth, all that. All right. Now, the big thing everybody always complains about is the seating in here. Now, we have not had any issues with the seating. What I think people don't like is they don't like these jacuzzi seats because the reason why they don't like them is because once you're in that seat, you really can't go anywhere. The thing that I like about them is if I'm sitting here and my head's here and you're sitting here, you and I can have a conversation. Um, other boats I've seen before where they have the seat, this is flat and they have a seat back here. Well, when you're sitting there, I can't really have a conversation that well with somebody. So, you know, we haven't had anybody that doesn't dislike the jacuzzi seats. We don't allow people to crawl all around our boat and go crazy, you know. That's what the pontoon boat is for that we have. So that's usually where we kind of push all that. And this is, this boat is really designed for wakeboarding, wake surfing. People will tell you they can do other stuff. Uh, it can, I just don't think it can at the caliper of what I would like for it to do for just cruising. I'm not a cruising boat guy, so that's what we're looking at. All right, so let's look at the dash. So the captain's area here, um, the mirror is an added on thing we added. You have all your switch gauges here. I tell people, um, when you buy this boat, the first thing you want to do is make sure that all these gauges are correct. Okay. I know that sounds ridiculous. Um, there's been models going out where the fill, uh, on the ballast, which is, these are our ballast filled. I have a left and a right. Um, and you want to make sure that those fill are actually filling. Some people have said that when they hit the fill button, the pump is re is reversed and put it upside down. So it does the opposite. So I would tell you, Make sure you check your ballast pumps in the back before you uh, start trying to see if that works. So if you start hearing a lot of noise from your pump, something's not right. Okay, so ours is all right here. The thing that's not right on ours is over here. Hey, they got in a hurry. When we hit up, the tab goes down, and our tab down means up. So I have had a chance to get back there and fix that and redo the wiring to where it works correctly. Again, kind of frustrating. This is brand new. Shouldn't have that issue. Again, you know the pricing on the boat some people say uh things like this shouldn't be a problem but you can see how the swim deck is kind of crooked i've never put this in before but these swim decks i've heard are absolutely difficult um and right now it's 2021 so they're kind of in a hurry of doing some stuff so you know that, that kind of i guess it can happen down here we have a compartment we put all our shoes here this compartment is accessible here and you can access it on that side there too uh, so we have two, we have a couple of baskets in there. Uh, your table, if you had it in there, it goes over here against the wall. Uh, so there you go. There's that. Again, the ski locker here. This has our plug and play ballast. This was added in for us. Another additional feature. Um, the downside of that is that you can't fill just this. So uh, we'll talk more about performance stuff later on why that's kind of a downside in my opinion. Okay, so that's a ski locker. Plenty of room in there. I think I can get all my boards in there just about. Up front here. You know, you've got your cushions up front, you know, pretty standard stuff, decent amount of room in here. All right. So kind of set up there, access your behind your dash through here. There's a little, uh, access panel there. Okay. So all your speakers here, this, uh, boat came with lights inside the cup holders. There's docking lights on this boat too, as well. Bimney top. Uh, not the easiest to put up by yourself, but it can be done by yourself. Uh, this boat also came with the uh, added GoPro feature. So let me talk about this piece. This thing sounded such a great idea. Rope goes on here and then it's supposed to feed through here is, is how I've gathered this to be. Okay, and then what happens is as this, the rider moves, this rope is in here and it'll follow the uh, rider, right? Because the GoPro goes on top goes on top here okay and it's supposed to follow the rider now the problem is is if the rider's surfing and he throws his rope into the boat and it makes the rope do this it's a little excessive it makes it do that now i'm pointing over here and i can't watch the rider so we do not use this gopro feature i'd love for someone out there to show me that it's that maybe i'm doing it wrong but i don't think that we are um doing it wrong on that okay so again access to your motors in here 
Okay, your ballast pumps are in here to replace your impellers, things of that nature. This one came with a depth finder installed. So we have that. Again, all of your compartmental stuff is here, which I think is really nice. So there's, I've got quite a few things kind of crammed in here. I need to organize again. There's about eight jackets in there. There's a ballast bag here. So I have another additional ballast bag for, for, right, for riding light on riders. Okay, so let me see if this side over here is a little lighter cleaning the boat out from the lake. So, yeah, so a little, not as much, there's only two jackets in there. This is the hard tank um, to the boat. So, right there. Okay. And then we have the control panel on the back here. Uh, some of the boats don't come with that. So another feature that we're glad we have, I've seen people install those. We have the ski pole that goes back here. There's a tubing tie-in. Um, my personal opinion on the tubing tie-in is you, this boat is not that great for tubing, but others say different. Okay, so there you guys go. This is the inside of the WT2DC. Um, I'm gonna do a video on the wave and kind of give an analysis on the wave and then give a kind of an overview of what I think um, about this boat and for who this boat is really for. All right, guys. Thanks.